So today's question is, what am I doing personally to um, look out for my mental health during social isolation? So I am out here in my front yard to show you. The absolute best part of working from home is I get to spend my lunch break out in my yard and I get out to get out in my garden as soon as I clock out. Um, we grow a significant amount of our produce. Um, I mean, I do have uh, a house full of children, so it helps me provide them with healthy food, and it's a, a wonderful way to connect with, you know, the seasons and the earth and, you know, the, the natural cycles and life, and we always grow more than what we need so that we can give to others in the community, so it keeps us connected with people in the community as well, and um, it's just really healing and life-giving to me. And so I've been doing a lot more of that during social isolation and so I do not have a super fancy setup. I just have a raised beds that are across the front of the house. I have a green house right here. There's not a whole lot to see, of course, at this point. It's so early in the season, but there are some beautiful baby corn sprouting in the greenhouse and some little bean sprouts coming up right along the front on the trellis. And then, of course, my strawberries in the front under the window that come up every year. I do think that everyone who is able, you know, who has a, at least a semi-permanent place to live should grow at least one food producing plant um, just because it makes you feel better. Um, it's uh, a connection to life and the life cycle, the natural cycles, the earth, and it's, it's nice to get that reward too. Um, it's relatively easy to do and it, it's nice to be able to, you know, have some semblance of control and see something prosper that you worked so hard on.